hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel free and love channel uh, uh, thank you so much for coming back to watch uh, our channel especially for the returning sub subscribers and those that you haven't uh, subscribed to this channel please consider doing so so that uh, you may uh, help us grow and continue bringing you very wonderful stuff so today i have something special i want to share with you today is saturday and uh just preparing to go work uh, it's one of the days i work in a week and um i just wanted to share something quick with you so that uh just to get motivation how to stay out of debt and how to enjoy your american dream so uh debt is an issue here in america staying in debt is an issue and the way life is designed in this uh, uh area or in this part of the world uh is like staying in debt is the norm but that doesn't have to be you can stay debt free and enjoy um american dream if you choose to do so so why do people stay in debt <laughs> Uh, there are so many things here that happen that cause people to stay in debt. People want to live beyond their means. I'm talking to the healthcare, uh, uh, healthcare providers, even other people, other from other jobs. People live beyond their means. That's the main thing. People live beyond their means. Yeah. Another thing is we have credit companies that keep on sending credit cards to you so that you can use those credit uh, credit cards to buy whatever you want and it's very easy to indulge uh, in buying stuff it's called impulse buying buying stuff that you do not need mm? most uh, uh, folks here in America live in debt and I can assure you is uh, it's, 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 you can live out, you can be debt free. In other words, you can be debt free. It's possible. It's possible to be debt free. And most of people are depressed because of this. Most people are depressed because they have very big debt and they cannot pay, uh, for it. Most people, their mental state is unstable because of the debt. You constantly think about what you're gonna pay, how you're gonna pay for it. It's a biggest problem here in America that is hindering, uh, uh, can hinder one's ability to enjoy the American dream. You see, uh, it's good to live within your means. I'll say so. It's good to live within your means. Purchasing uh, big machines like the big cars, it's okay if you have money. Purchasing big homes, see, it's so it's so crazy in the sense that you can find somebody has a big house, you're paying mortgage. Somebody has very nice coaches in the house, you're paying every month. You're paying something for that. You have your bed. You are paying something for that. You have your utensils in the kitchen. You are paying something. Everything in your house, even the air you bring, is like you are paying for it. And you have all these things in your home, but you don't have peace of the mind. The peace of the mind is very special to anyone. If your mind is disturbed, you will not be able to function well. If your mind is disturbed, you will spend time. Uh, uh, it affects even your physical health because if you don't sleep, if you you are you are stressed, you don't sleep well in the night. So you spend time thinking about your next bill, how you're gonna pay for the next bill, and if you don't pay, well, guess what? All the things that you have will be taken away. Mm -hmm. All the things that you have will have to be taken away or they'll send what we call, call debtor collectors to come and get your stuff. So it's very important to live within your means. And if you live your mean, in, within your means, you are taking care of your, uh, your, 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 your mind. You're taking care of your mental health. 
most people here live in depression because of all these bills coming you earn this much amount of money could be good amount of money but you're gonna pay all this money you cover all your bills and you're left with nothing so it's like you're working to cover the bills you don't even have something to save you don't you don't you don't have money that in case of emergency something you can run to in case of emergency hmm? so it's not just to it's not good to live on debt everything you have is debt debt just live within your means and you'll be able to enjoy your american dream hmm? instead of buy, or buying maybe you can choose to buy a second hand coach choose to buy a second hand uh, a dining table hmm? And you survive, still function like the new table anyway. Mm? Why buy a big fancy table, a big fancy car, and when, if something happened to you, those things are going to be taken away from you. Mm? If you reach a time you cannot pay for this bill, the, the debt collectors will come and take those things from you. So why live beyond your means? Mm? Mm? Why put your mental health at risk you can't function well when your mental health is is not normal when you are disturbed mentally you don't sleep we have a lot of people who are depressed and have said because of all these bills they're wondering how they're gonna pay for these bills hmm? so the tip number one is live within your means and you'll be able to enjoy your American dream if you're planning to come to US I just want you to, give, to I want to give you some tips. Live within your means. Don't be swayed by this credit card the credit company will send you and you go to Walmart or Sam's Club and buy this huge stuff there. Bring them in all this stuff, you bring them in your house and it's like you have them, yes. Eh? It looks nice in your house, yes. But mentally you are not stable because you are every time constantly thinking about how am I gonna pay for this? And the bills will never stop coming. They'll be coming every now and then. So think about that. Why should you live beyond your means? Hmm? I believe your mental health is very special. If your mental health is not taken care of, everything else crumble. It doesn't matter how big your house is. It doesn't matter how many cars or fleets of cars you have in your garage. If your mental health is not can, taken care of, your your whole health is affected. Your family is affected. Everything around is affected, because you are not you are never a happy person because you're stressed. Whatever the much you get, is channeled into paying bills. So it is really demanding. If you want to enjoy American dream, if you're an, if you're an American, or, or if you're planning to come to America, live be uh, live within your means. Do not live beyond your means. Do not covet what your neighbor is, uh, has, because you don't know how much, uh, where this neighbor is getting the money from to pay his bill or her bills. Hmm? Live within your means, and you'll be able to enjoy a uh, an American dream. That's one thing I've come to realize. That if you live within your means, you'll enjoy your life. You you you'll take care of your mental health. You'll take care of your family, and it shall be peaceful. Another thing: be careful with the credit cards that they send you, because we do always get credit cards. There are uh, that. You can you, you you can buy whatever you want with that credit card. You, you can purchase whatever you want. It's free, but when it comes to pay, it's not free. Sorry, you'll pay for there's nothing free. Hmm? You get that credit card, know that you're gonna pay for it. It's never free, and when you start paying for it, it's not fun. <laughs> you get this money, and all the money is going to pay things that you you don't you didn't even need. Hmm? So just. Learn to live within your means and be careful with the credit cards. <laughs> they are available and if you're not careful, you'll fall in this trap and you never like your life here in America. Be careful. Live within your means and avoid credit cards as much as you can and you'll have peace in your mind. Me and my family have tried hard to do that and I'll say the step we have made in our life have helped us live in peace.
and not to worry about so much bills or so many bills coming in and in uh, here from here and there so so hope this video will encourage somebody somewhere who's struggling and if you are a you have heavy bills again you have to plan for way as not heavy bills have uh, big credit or debt you have to plan for the way you can be able to uh, get rid of it and I believe this video is gonna help somebody somewhere and it will organize somebody somewhere and help somebody for be focused and I believe you'll have your mental health taken care of when all this takes place so thank you so much for watching this video it was just a short clip share with your friend you give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye bye